MPLST affinity and attribute flag. In this video, I am going to talk about the MPLST attribute attribute flag configuration on the links and also MPLST affinity configuration on the MPLS traffic engineering tunnel. You will understand the a concept of the attribute flag and also affinity how we can use these two feature and also uh, what is the usage of the affinity and also attribute flag let me first to say that the basic idea about the mplst affinity is to add an attribute to a link and be able to include or exclude this link during pass calculation okay the concept is also known as link coloring. Let me to give you one example to better understanding these two features. You know that until now we configured the uh, tra traffic engineering tunnels with only bandwidth requirement. Okay, let me to remember to you that uh, assume that here we have two paths from the, for example, R1 to R4. The first pass is from rotor 2 as you can see in the picture in the scenario to rotor 4 and also here as you can see we have the next pass from the r1 to the r3 and then uh, to the r4 okay both of these pass okay has uh, have uh, one uh, specific bandwidth for example assume that the bandwidth of the higher pass is 1000 kilobit per second and also the bandwidth of the lower pass okay ha is uh, 1000 kilobit per second okay and our tunnel in the r1 here in r1 we have a tunnel r1 tunnel 0 with the bandwidth requirement of the 500 kilobit per second this tunnel has the bandwidth requirement of the 500 kilo bit per second for example we configure this command a uh, tunnel you know that uh, for bandwidth configuration we can con we can use tunnel mpls traffic engineering bandwidth command this is the command look at here tunnels mpls traffic engineering bandwidth let me write here tunnel then mpls then traffic eng after that bandwidth and then for example 500 kilo bit per second okay this is the only requirement of our tunnel until now we didn't configure any other requirements in the uh, tunnels but we can configure some other requirement for a tunnel let me to say that assume that as a as one example this is the ground link means here uh, uh, for example between the r1 and r2 we are using the for example fiber optic links or uh, 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 for example here we are using the fiber optic links but this is a satellite link okay this is only one example okay this means that this link between rotor r1 and and to r3 now is uh, traversing from the air okay this is the air link okay and you don't want to use the air link for a feature for example you have one requirement in your sla with your uh, for example customer that we are using the uh, ground link or fiber link for some one specific customer okay how we can configure that uh, we don't uh, we, uh, we use only the fiber link you know that about the bandwidth requirement both of these links have uh, the capability to uh, for, to passing this bandwidth requirement how we can use a feature to in a, a tunnel MPLS traffic engineering and after that we can select only the for example ground link or fiber link okay the answer is that we can configure some attribute flag on the links and after that we can use the affinity feature let me to give you one example if you want you can configure some attribute or attribute flag to a link let me to say that in mpls traffic engineering okay we can assign to a one attribute fl a flag or one resource class to every and each link for example in one rotor that has a link okay here we can configure one attribute flag or attribute or resource class okay different names 
to this link. This attribute flag has a 32 bit, uh, for example, length 32 bit means eight, eight hex characters. This means that we, uh, we can assign a hex character with maximum eight character to this link. Uh, let me to write here, zero X means the hex character. The value start from the eight zero, okay, to eight F, okay, zero X. Then uh, let me to write here, zero X, then uh, quad F, quad F. We can assign one attribute flag between these two uh, value, okay? Uh, to the link and after that we can identify that which attribute flag is desired for us for example as a simple uh, uh, scenario in this uh, for, uh, for example example uh, in this scenario we can assign this attribute flag to the a higher link zero x okay then zero 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 one okay also to both links zero x again quad zero then zero 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 one okay and also to the a link we can uh, assign this attribute flag again quad zero 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 uh, or one zero okay then to the next link zero x zero 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 one zero don't forget that this is a hex value this means that when you are configuring for example one zero one is in the binary is zero 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 one okay because you know that every hex characters has four bit length okay this is the hex uh, for example attribute flag and don't forget that the attribute flag has 32 bit length okay this is the attribute flag the first thing that we need to configure on the links of a pass after that after defining the attribute flag in the tunnel specification or in the tunnel requirement we can require we can uh, for configure the affinity that we want for example the command is tunnel mpls uh, traffic engineering okay here we have a new command affinity this means that for this tunnel we need this attribute flag or this affinity okay here you can configure a value uh, the a hex value from 0x0 0 0x0 0, 0 0 means this value okay to the uh, for example highest value let me to write here to uh, for example this value also if you want you can uh, configure a mask for uh, easier uh, for example matching the attribute let me to write here mask the mask uh, can be between exactly the same two value i will talk about the mask you will understand better the mask the mask function here exactly uh, or so similar to the mask function in the ip addressing with the mask we can identify which bits are important for us let me to talk about that but before that in this uh, scenario you know that because we want to use the fiber link only we need to configure a combination of the at affinity affinity okay this is the attribute and then uh, the mask we need to configure a combination of these two value to matching only this attribute flag let me to talk about the mask uh, here uh, we can uh, for example draw a table this is our table and this is the mask and this is the attribute okay attribute this is attribute okay and this is the mask okay when you have uh, in the mask field one okay this means that this bit in, at in attribute flag is important for us i will talk about that okay important for us and when you have zero in the mask this means that in this bit is not important in the attribute what does uh, this mean let me to talk about that look at here for example in this scenario i'm going to configure the this command tunnel mpls traffic eng okay affinity because we need to only match the uh, this attribute and not this value we can configure this uh, for example uh, attribute zero x okay zero 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 then zero 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 one after that 
mask for mask you know that we need to 